Okay, so um, we just showed that we can make a graph showing the uh, number of aggressive behaviors of these gorillas for the three conditions. Now, how do we do a statistical test to see if they're uh, actually different? Well, the uh, test I'm going to use is the AOV, the Analysis of Variance. And um, again, that's a, uh, an R function. You can go into Help and type AOV and... Uh, It'll tell you how to input it here and what it does. Okay, you have to input a formula. A formula means um, our output variable and then our input variable. So uh, here's our output variable. Here's our predictor. And because the uh, same subjects were in every condition, um, I put this extra one error and then subject by condition. And the data is gorilla data. And so, and I'm uh, this command, I can just run this command, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the output of this function um, as aov.output. So let me just click run here. And now you see over here I get aov.output. And now I'm going to run another command called summary on that to get the, uh, the, the statistical results that I can read. And that's what I get down here. And uh, you can see it's got three stars, so it's significant. Um, Okay, but in uh, analysis of variance, when we have three groups like this, um, that tells us there's a difference, but it doesn't tell us whether the differences are which groups they're between. So afterwards, we have to run uh, something, um, you know, a an a an what's called an ad hoc test, okay, test afterwards. And uh, the command I'm going to use here is this pairwise t test, okay. Um, I'll just look that one up really quick for you here. Whoops pairwise t-test. Okay, and it tells you um, basically the input x, g, p adjust method. Okay, so x is the response vector. That's going to be, right, this is, we're looking at aggressive behavior, so this is the response vector. Vector is a column of uh, numbers or, or data. Okay, so we want our response vector is um, is this gorilla data dollar sign aggressive so the aggressive column of the gorilla data and then our grouping vector or factor is going to be the groups are these control jungle sound classical music so the grouping vector is this one gorilla data dollar sign condition and um, the default is paired is false. I'm going to make paired is true because uh, they're, they're the same uh, subjects. And p adjust method. How do you, how are we going to adjust our uh, our p values? Because um, when you do a t you know these kind of t tests afterwards, you have to adjust them. Uh, we look this up. P adjust method method for adjusting p values. See this. So we could click on this. And here's the choices. Um, Okay, I like to use this BY method, which is the uh, um, Benjaminian Yekutieli 2001 method. So, um, but, uh, you know, you got to decide for yourself what these are. In these videos, I'm not really explaining what kind of statistics you should use. Um, that's, um, there's lots of other information online, or uh, you can ask a teacher, uh, to find that out. I don't, uh, not enough time in the video to explain that. So let's run the pairwise t-test. And here's what we get. You can see we get a little matrix here. Control versus jungle sound, 0 0.007, that's good. Control versus classical music, uh, very, you know, less than 000. And jungle sound versus classical. So it looks like all of these are, have significant differences according to that, uh, that test.